is finally here. That means spending time in our gardens. And to have a healthy garden, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have healthy soil because healthy soil allows for plants to be healthy, of course. So my favorite thing to do at the beginning of spring every single year is to go around to all of my plants and add compost. Compost, they call it black gold. So compost, what it is, this is essentially naturally occurring things such as leaves, twigs, old food products, things that occur naturally that have broken down over a long period of time. So you can see that it is going to be full of naturally occurring nutrients that are easily assimilated into the roots of the plants and slowly over a long period of time. And you know, basically if you've ever spent a minute in a garden bed, chances are you recognize that your garden soil is probably not perfect. No one has perfect soil. Compost is pretty much the closest thing to perfection when it comes to soil because it has that perfect combination of air, moisture, and organic matter combined. So when we start to add compost into our garden, what you basically do, you take about, you take your shovels, your handfuls, and you just kind of place it around the base of your plants in the garden. Once you have it kind of all the way around the edges, remember, roots of plants, they grow deep, but they also grow wide. That's why we add compost all the way around. So if you were to do this little thing in all the areas of your garden at the beginning every single year, that's like investing in your garden. And investing in your garden means more flowers, more yield, more fruit, more beauty in your garden. So once you have it kind of placed like that, I like to just give it a little dig. And that's gonna help the compost to just enter into your soil a little bit better, which is exactly what we wanna do. So yes, it, it may take you a couple hours to get compost all the way around your plants, but it is so important because compost, because it's so full of naturally occurring nutrients, it will slowly enter your plant over a long period of time. It acts like a slow release fertilizer, which means less synthetic fertilizers that you need to use in your garden throughout the season. And compost will also help retain moisture in your garden bed. What that means for you, less watering, and everyone wants to spend less time watering. So, you know, now that it's springtime, think about adding some compost, not only to the plants in your flower beds and your borders, but also in your container plants on your patio and porch. Um, they need it just as much. Anyways, I'm Devin Wallin with Roberta's, and I hope you enjoyed. See ya.